Hello there, Cancer. Well, this is a reading from whenever you happen to come across. It's a timeless reading. And it's what the, your spirit and guides, what they want you to know. What needs to come out? Let's see what's happening for you guys. What do we have here? We have... Oh, we have the star. Hey, you're shining bright. I don't know, I get the, my leaves in here. I'm sorry. My leaves out of the way. <laughs> you are shining bright here. This is Aquarius energy. Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes are coming true. Okay. And there might be a little competition, but you're standing above the rest. And we also have you're moving away from something. You're moving away from stress. You're moving away from some roughness here. Some rough waters. Some nice, cool, smooth sailing. Or someone could be coming towards you too. With the six swords, you could be going on vacation. And you could also be doing some traveling here. Okay, let's um let's clarify this. Why is the star here for cancer? What's going on here? Someone going someplace warm. Oh, I got like a real warm feeling. You like the sun on you? I'm feeling that energy. Okay, we have, ooh, the high priestess. Okay, so I'm tapping in someone's energy here that you are getting noticed for your intuition. It's really strong. And if you're starting something new, it's going to do really well because you know things. Your hidden, your hidden intuition is coming on very strong here. And, um, yeah, so there's also might be something that's hidden that's coming to light for you that you weren't aware of. But you could become famous, too, for your intuition. Cancer energy, too. Cancer at Virgo. All right. Now, let's see. Why do we have the seven of wands here? King of Cups. Okay, so that's Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This could be your energy. Um, I feel like someone's new is coming in news. Someone new is coming in towards you. Could be a water. So I have a lot of emotions. Could be someone from the past, but it feels new. Okay. What about the six of swords? Why the six of swords here? Yeah, you're you're walking away from a situation that was no longer serving you. It's like you had enough of this. Some you could actually be leaving a water sign. But for others, I feel like it's a new person that's entering because it, it feels I'm getting two energies. I'm feeling one one energy feels like it's someone new, like also like there's a door opens, this person's there. I don't know if you're gonna meet them at a location and also you walk into each other or it, it's if it just feel like you open the door and they're there. And for others, I see some, someone back, like you're walking away from someone. So um, take it as it resonates. But this is like not wanting to fight and also tired of the conflict, the aggravation. This is also someone moving away from a situation with many people, like maybe leaving a job, saying, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm not dealing with this. You know, you always had to prove yourself. And you always end up proving yourself. And you always end up being, you know, more... I don't want to say more accomplished, more more qualified than the other people. They didn't like it. So you just said, you know, I'm tired of always doing this. I'm always fighting. Just do your work and we won't have to worry about this stuff. But I feel like there's people around you at work that were just lazy and they didn't like the fact that you were shining bright because here you got the star here. Okay. Now let me get into energy because I can't handle lazy people that get mad when you do your job. <laughs> Let's see here. Justice is coming in. Libra energy. Nice. Then we have, and it's bringing in the Ace of Coins, new opportunities, a fear opportunity. Also, if this is a lawsuit, you're going to, a lot of money's coming in for you with this Ace of Coins with the Justice. Okay, like one more here. And we have the Moon. Okay, this is Pisces. Could be your energy too, Scorpio, Cancer. But um, there's a lot of emotions here too coming in. Hidden emotions are going to be exposed. And there's an ending. There's definitely an ending for some of you guys. Walking away from something, it's painful, but you know, it's it's needed. And after you walk away here, this is when the justice comes in. Let's see. Um, let's clarify this justice card, please. Yeah, 
Yes, the truth is coming out. I love this card. It is so great with the justice card. You have Ace of Swords. And so there's some kind of truth coming out, cutting out what does not belong. It's like finally getting to the bottom of things. It feels like this, I'm feeling like someone feels, okay, this took so long, but it's, it's coming. And it always comes at the right time. And you have two aces here. How nice is that? Okay, why is the ace of pentacles here? Hangman, waiting for this to happen. See, I tell you, it took a long time, but now it's coming in and someone's seeing things in a new perspective. I also think we have this hidden energy here with the moon and we have this um, hangman. It had to take the time because you had to get to the point where something was supposed to be exposed and it has been. And if, you, and if it happened earlier, you it wouldn't have worked out as well for you, okay? So always remember that divine timing is at play and it's always better. If you don't rush anything because you won't get as good as you could get. <laughs> Let's see. Why is the moon here? Magician, you're manifesting this. This is a Aries and Aquarius energy. You have whatever you need to manifest here. And it's also, I think, someone has a lot of emotions for you and they're trying to manifest the beginning with you. They're very defensive about this too. Okay now, what else do we have here? Okay, someone is not sleeping well here. Oh, they're stuck in their thought. Oh my gosh, so there's someone here. Two of one. You need to make a decision. I think there's a new person coming in. But there also might be this past person. These past people, they don't want to go away. I'm sorry. <laughs> Some people don't want this, but hey, this is not for everyone. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But there is a choice you have to make here. Now with this card, in most cases, I see why I see this two of wands. I see someone going back towards the past, but that's not for everyone. Now, someone is really can't sleep. Think, think about you, feel stuck, doesn't know how to move on from this or move towards you. They don't know what to do. And they have the five of cups, which means a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. Okay, let's clarify this. Yep, there's competition, there's arguing, because I think you have, this person is aware of this new person coming in, and they're coming, they want to show up now, and they want to fight for you. And why do we have this um, Eight of Swords? And they want to be triumphant, so they're trying to figure out how they can do this and win your heart. And we have this Five of Cups here. Why is that here? Okay, they didn't give in the past. You might have been the one always giving. Now they want to come in and say, listen, I'm going to do the right thing now. They went and they soul searched. You might be dealing with a Virgo. And they realized their mistakes. And now all of a sudden, everything came to light. I don't know why they didn't know it before. Or they did and they didn't think it was important. Or they didn't realize how, you, how important you were to them. This is someone who's trying to heal a situation. They're learning things. Might be a little too little too late, though. Let's see what else we have. One more. One more, please, for cancer. Oop. We have, okay, we have the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay, so this person <laughs> might have been trying to watch you, trying to spy on you, and didn't work. Something, they, they got caught, or something happened, or they can't, they don't know how to find you, or they don't, I don't know, they don't know how to contact you or something. There's something going on here. Uh, this is Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini, but they can't, they can't reach you for some reason. Okay, let's see what else we have here. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone who has a lot of passion, a lot of desire. Also could be a boss or someone that owns their own business, does quite well financially, um, is good with their creativity. Oh, here comes the Two of Wands again. See, this is having to make a decision. It looks like you're going towards this past person, though. We do have an Eight of Cups. Someone's moving away from a situation. to. I think this person's moving away from a situation to come to you. You could also be moving away from something to go to something else, too. You could be changing jobs, changing where you live. But um, for a lot of you, I feel like this is this energy of this person moving towards you. 
either they're relocating to get closer to you if they're a distance or they're leaving a connection to come towards you why do we have this page of swords here Ooh, yeah you are their ten of cups you make them happy okay what about this king of wands and they know they're gonna face the queen of swords they're prepared for this because they know whatever they did to you you know you're not putting up with any kind of garbage here okay what about this two of wands yeah, decision you're not able to make a decision here you're having a hard time but the ace of wands okay you guys we have three aces here we have the ace of pentacles ace of swords and the ace of wands so where's the ace of cups <laughs> we need that one okay so the ace of wands this is something new coming in for you guys it could be a new job a new business it feels feels more i mean there's a lot of passion here it feels like you might be doing something that you that really gets your creative juices going i feel like there's something that you really enjoy doing and you might be starting a new business or starting a new venture or even doing a side hustle here until things get off the ground because it feels like you're ready to start something new let's see what else we have here yes a new beginning aries and aquarius energy but you are starting on your own starting something new you're not listening to others is what i'm getting from this card there's other people trying to talk you out of it and you say no this is what i want to do i'm not doing this for you i'm doing this for me <laughs> and queen of cups okay so this could be your energy here do we have the what do we have here before Got, we had a oh we have the king of okay so we have the king and queen of cups i i feel this is your energy and here's your counterpart here that's you guys are on the same wavelength but it's really weird i feel like you guys really match and you know you match you like this new person but this past person uh, they got the passion they got the um uh, they get you excited this person you feel comfortable with i feel this person you feel okay this person it loves me i can feel their love i can feel that they'll be very nurturing caring but this person if they did something wrong here i don't know it's a bad boy bad girl thing or it's just that okay together the chemistry hmm, it's off the charts <laughs> that's what it feels like okay i mean that's it could be different for different people here you know so maybe that doesn't resonate with you but that's the energy i'm feeling real strong here oh my leaves just moved what was that all about? <laughs> okay let's see what else we have here okay yeah ending something you're ending something here for sure okay and it's bringing in a commitment is bringing in money whatever you're ending here okay got the tens and here comes knight of wands something coming in quickly here knight of wands is is like comes in super fast but this also i feel like whatever you're creating here you're doing that quickly too it feels like um I'm, again i'm getting pulled in two directions i'm getting pulled in this person coming in the knight of wands could be different from this person so you could have a couple people coming in this could be a past person this could be someone new this also feels for some of you that you're meeting this person in this new adventure that you're doing with the ace of wands and that you have the same energy like a, a fast-paced energy or a, or, or a it feels real i'm feeling like real happy I'm feeling a happy energy or a very you guys have a lot of fun you laugh a lot let me see i have to see what this is what is this see knight of wands i knew that was peeking out at me the knight of wands is right under this so right under this new adventure is this knight i felt like it was connected so this is definitely someone you're going to meet when you do this new thing that you're doing the knight of wands is going to be there because it's the same vibe it's the same energy that's attracting this okay let's get another roll here and then we'll pull out what the word is okay let's see we have ooh, the magician again you are manifesting after this ending you're putting something to rest here's a new beginning but you're also starting something and then i think in 
in the time that you start this new beginning, you're ending something right after you start this new beginning. It feels really weird. It feels like you start something and then all of a sudden you say, oh, I got to put this to bed. I have to close this. I have to close this door. And then you're manifesting something here. Aries and Aquarius doing some kind of manifesting. Okay, let's see what else we have. It's at work. Yep. You might be doing a lot of different projects at this time. And in comes a Knight of Cups too. Ooh, this is a new person. Okay, so you have a few new people. Plus you have this old energy that is really, you're comfortable with it, excites you. <laughs> and we have a sneaky energy here, seven of swords. Someone's trying to watch, I think it's this person trying to get an idea of what's going on. I think they might be aware of these other people around you. It's like they don't like them hovering around you. They can see it. Now before they couldn't, they couldn't see things. Now, once you start this new I, maybe you're out in the public more and you weren't before, but when you start this new job or new business, you're more visible. And once you become more visible, this person's watching, but you're going to catch them sneaking around. You, they're not going to be very well hidden. But this seven of swords, I always look at, they're under the moonlight, they're leaving these clues with these um, feathers, plus someone is going to say, hey, Cancer, do you know that so-and-so, um, King of Wands was around there, around the corner, and looking in. <laughs> Something like that, you know. Wherever, wherever it resonates for you guys. Okay, let's get what the word is on this. First, let's find out about this new person. This King of Cups. What's the scoop on this King of Cups? We have, ooh, shocking. Fast. After? Hmm. Okay, I think after the shock that when you meet this person, whatever happens here, Scorpio Aries energy though, this person might just come out of the blue. And when they come in, after that, they're going to move fast towards you. It's like, whoa, they're just going to like be right on top of you. It's like, hey, <laughs> let's go out or something. And you're going to be like, whoa, whoa, you know, I don't know you. But they're going to, they know that they have to move they have to strike while the iron's hot because they know you're hot and that other people are going to be coming in towards you too and they know that this is an interesting read now yeah we definitely want to know what's going on with this king of wands what is going on with this king of wands what's the scoop on this one let's see what's the king of wands i know i should do the no i'm i'm, I'm i had my energy already um intent on this then we'll go back to this page of swords because <laughs> i really want to know about this king of wands don't you let's see what's this king of wands what's the story we have money Ooh, sharing money okay suddenly ooh, this another one comes in suddenly this one might be a work related thing coming in giving you money or sharing money with you or sharing something here okay so Aries and a Scorpio with the tower and this person is gonna shock you too you are got these people shocking you or coming out of the blue it's like where did they all of a sudden they just appear it's like we're I never seen you before so I'm like if this is your past person coming back in they might be trying to give you money may money they owe because we do have here they want to compensate for how they did they didn't do it in the past may they owe you money or they want to share their wealth with you because they earn they achieve success and they earn money and they fear they owe you because we have this six of pentacles here okay let's see about this page of swords what's the scoop on this page of swords new start sincere player okay so they were i still i believe this is the energy together here but it could be different for you guys i believe this person's coming in they want a new start and they were a player before and now they're trying to say that they're sincere so we're gonna do it this way because they know what they're missing out on they're missing out on cancer and cancer is like everything cancer is so loving and caring but now i think this is your energy but let's see you know when all the um, court cards will do so what's the scoop on this queen of swords we have return jealousy message Ooh, 
Yeah, I think this person's coming to talk to you. I really think this is your energy here. And they're very jealous. And they're coming... Okay, we're going to do it this way. We're going to put jealousy here. Because they're aware of this person in your life now. And this person came in out of the blue. Now this person's coming back. And they're very jealous. And they're going to have a message for you. Okay. Now. <laughs> let's see here. What about this Queen of Cups? This is such a fun read. <laughs> I hope it's fun for you. I hope it's not something you don't want happen. Oh, feelings. Serious. Finish. Ooh. Now, I do think this is your energy. But this was like, I'm feeling here. You're feeling like with this person, you don't want this. You're seriously feeling like this is finished. You, you'll start this and right away you figure, well, it's not what I want. But I don't think they're going to give up that easily either. Okay, let's see. Now we have these two. Let's see. What's going on with this? Um. Okay, I hope this is okay. Because I just was told that I needed to get rid of some more um, files and stuff. Because I didn't have enough space. And I said, this is not a time for this to happen. Okay, so now we're on this. So I had to stop for a minute. So here's we have for the Knight of Wands. We have Committed, Money, and Mary. So this one is coming in. And I don't know how this, this wants to be in a marriage with you. And something about money too. I This could be this connection here. But it feels different. It feels new. But it's weird how this has money here. Married. So it could. Okay. For some of you this is the same person. May they come in real fast. For some of you it's going to be someone different. Okay. Let's see. What do we have on Knight of Cups? Sorry, that threw me. I mean, when I guess I'm interrupted with the no space because I I changed my settings and now it's really causing havoc because someone um, explained to me how to be to make it a little better with the way that it was filming. It was too choppy, but my computer doesn't want to handle that, I don't think. Okay, so now we have the Knight of Cups. And it says, okay, never fear. Is it? Okay, so this Knight of Cups is coming in. They're going to ask you a question. It's going to be, is it? And I would think they don't have the fear. They're coming in pretty strong here. And they want a connection with you. So, we'll have to see. Okay, now. Oh, let's see what signs we have. I hope I, hope I can finish doing this video. Okay, let's see. Let's see. What signs do we have here? What are the signs? We have Leo. Sagittarius. Cancer. Aries. Virgo. And Libra. Okay, so these could be placements in your chart. This could be placements in other people's chart. Past, present, or future people. So we have Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Aries, Virgo, and Libra. Okay, now for the letters. Let's see. 11 letters, and let's be for initials. First name, last name. And if you get first and last, and you get the middle initial, if you know it, that's all the better. Um, also, past, present, future people. Let's see. We have L. U, W, O, N, K, K, S, V, W, and G. So the letters we have for you today are L, U, W, O, N, K, K, S, W, B, W, G. Okay. Now for the names. What names do we have? What are the names? What are the names of cancer here? We have Let me know what we need. We have a Mary and a Mick, Mikiel, M E C H I E L. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Rosemary, Maureen. Oh, look all the M's. Oh my God, Makwasha. Another M. M A Q U A S H A. 
Chatel, S H A T E L, Ken, Leah, L I A, Lila, I, li I don't know how to pronounce it, Brandon. Okay, so how many have? Nine. Just need two more. Ooh, I'll make this finish before I crash here. We have Leon and another M, Matt. Wow, look at those M's. Okay, so those are the names. So remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if anything resonates. And um, please leave me comments. I'd love to read your comments. I love you guys so much. And I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.